Hey van friends, my name's Kevin. I'm selling a 1995 Chevy G10 van. It's located in Lake Havasu City, Arizona, and it's rust free. Um, there is some little dents here and there and stuff like that that would have to be uh, tended to, but it's a very good bones um, van. Um, especially for you people out Midwest and, you know, East Coast, all that, if you, you know, do shipping and stuff like that. But I'm going to show you some parts I have that will come with it. I'd like to have everything go with it um, because some of the big stuff I just don't like selling, you know, and trying to ship it and whatnot. But here we go. We have some panels that came out of another 78 um, which the 78 I had had a slider door this has the barn doors so the fitment will be a little different on some of the panels but it's material and other stuff like that and I got the door panels that match it and whatnot also I have what I call the NorCal wing. It's the, it's a long version. It's good for the uh, long vans, you know, the G twenties and everything looks super slick with that. And it's got the uh, four lights on the back side of the wing and everything. So let's go out and uh, let's see the van. Excuse my mess. I'm cleaning up a bunch of stuff. Oop. Gotta move some stuff. This is so I can block the dogs. So they don't escape. Alright. Any of you big truck fans, I got a 51 GMC cab over. Not for sale. But this is a all original truck and gonna have the uh, um, 12 valve Cummins motor and everything this is my um, yard dogs here they protect everything they'll probably come along on the tour so here's the van Full disclosure, this was uh, knocked in a little bit and um, I replaced it with a, another part of a fender from another van and everything. And I, the van, the, the hood, the grill is just laying there, but you see the buckets all centered and everything. All the hard work has been done and I grafted in pieces to uh, complete the uh, installation of the 77 on down grill also used a 78 hood which because you have to convert the uh, latching system hold on one second try to pop this open i'm gonna put you down for a minute good the van a little bit or not hold on all right so this has a 77 core support um, don't mind all the dust. It's very dusty out in Arizona. And, um, um, I did put a new Hydro Boost in it and whatnot. It has the, uh, 350 in it and the 4L60E, I believe, transmission. I believe that's the one. 
this is the original popper from the inside. Um, use the one that goes here now. I was at one point trying to think how I could convert this, but I, I don't think it's worth the while. I mean, you know, someone's going to open the hood and what are they going to steal? Some flex hose, right? <laughs> I don't get it. You can't get to anything. Here's this side of the van. Looks very nice. Yes, it does have a pocket door. I do have the early style taillights that could go with this. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Um, these gold pieces there, I'm not sure if I'm including them or not because they belong to my other van because I had the flare kit from it. But there is some more panels in here. Um, I do have a set of headers I can include if you so desire. There's some more pieces here and there. Some of the stuff is included, some of it's not. This is just a on the whim thing about selling this. I am very serious about selling it. I just, I didn't clean anything out. It does have some mirrors and stuff like that and whatnot. But I also have the front bumper for the conversion. I do not have a rear bumper for this conversion though. It does have a couple little winger dingers here and there, but the panels are straight and everything. Doors open very nice. Has the cage in it. No, this is not for putting all the chicks in so they can't get out. Here are the uh, early style taillights I will include. These are 77, well, these are 78 doors, which have the no body, the seam on the bottom. No, no seam, which gives it the early look. Um, what else? Include a fancy uh, 70s TV setup that goes up into the roof. Here's some more of those panels. Those, I believe, go to the rear doors. If so desire, you're getting them anyway. Uh, I got a big unit on this side. Let me go through here. This is my buddy's car, not for sale. I have the bezel for this. It's inside. I just saw it. Um, I have the stock 95 grill down here and some of the bezels and some dog dishes and stuff like that. I believe this is another front fascia for here. Um, and whatnot. see here yeah, it's it's all here disclosure um, the van has not run in two years and it did go away running I have not driven it that much it would be a thing where you would uh, expect to um, you know, get it running and stuff like that. The motor is not screwed up, I promise you. And whatnot. I mean, if I had the time, I'll, I could do all this, but this is all dependent on, on the price because I did build my orange van that is in the videos and I'm sure a lot of you know it and stuff like that. I could do some really cool stuff. 
kind of wanted to build it a little bit, but the thing is, not all the time, and people don't want to always pay the, the price on that, too. So, the roof is uncut as well. I do believe I put a little hole there for, um, actually, in the other garage, I do have the uh, early style visor. It's not a ball cap, but I mean, it's the one that kind of curves down. It's, it's a desired one that would go with this as well. So anyway, um, let me know. Send me private messages and stuff like that. Let me know what you think. Um, I also have the wheels that are the spoked wheels, almost like the 18 van, but they're the uh, wider, wider spoke, not the real fine spokes. Those could go with it too. Anyway, subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel here that you're on. This is my channel. And um, hit the like and share and subscribe. Thanks, guys.